Hello, I'm Robin Crow, the founder of Dark Horse Institute, and today we're going to talk about how to get a booking agent. Once you've developed a local and regional following by booking yourself, it might be time to get yourself a booking agent. Now, as you might imagine, booking agents represent a roster of solo artists and bands, and the really good ones spend their days and nights getting you gigs. And for their efforts, they make a commission, presuming that you've already got a web and social media presence that answers these three critical marketing questions. What do you sound like? What do you look like? And what's your story? It's now time to set up a showcase performance so that agents can come see you and just as importantly, see how the crowd reacts. Here are three important steps to putting on a killer showcase and getting signed by the right booking agent. <laughs> the first one's obvious, rehearse like crazy. As the saying goes, you only get one chance to make a first impression. Develop a set of killer performances that show off your strengths as singers, players, and entertainers. And don't just practice your songs, practice the whole set with an eye to pacing the dramatic arc of your performance, including instrument changeovers and talking between songs. Book the right venue. Book a club with great sound and lights and a vibe that fits your style, and make sure you can pack it out. Invite your fans, invite your family, invite your friends. Now's the time to call in all your favors so you can fill the house with a raucous crowd of insanely enthusiastic fans. Hey, their performance might be just as important as yours. And get it in writing. If the agent likes what he or she sees and smells money, then it's time to put pen to paper. So what should be covered in a booking agent agreement? Listen up and pay special attention to these four things. Number one, the term, the length of the contract. You want to give them long enough to really beat the bushes for you, but also have an out clause that lets you cancel the deal if they don't get X number of dates within a stated amount of time. And two, the territory, the geographical regions where they might represent you. In other words, do they have their promoter contacts all over the country, or should you limit them to a specific region where they might have the strongest presence? And three, the scope, what's covered by the contract. While managers need a very broad scope to allow them to work on record and publishing deals, as well as licensing and other forms of income, agents should have a very narrow scope. They only have one job to get you gigs and compensation, what the agent will get paid, which is usually 10 to 15% of gross performance earnings plus expenses. You'll do well to have a very detailed agreement that limits their commission to monies you actually make for your gigs, excluding transportation, lodging, and meal expenses. Plus, make sure they don't get to commission your merchandise sales. Touring can be the best or the worst part of being an artist. It's all about getting the right team members who can help you get hundreds of booty-shaking, money-making, life-changing live performances.